okay so in this video we are going to cover a fixed asset okay so i took question paper from eastern cape it was june examination so it was paper 2 which was written in 2023 so make sure that you stay tuned watch until the end so that you can gain some principles that you don't know under fixed assets okay so let's read our information they said a fixed asset the information related to maluti trader ltd Financial year ended 28 February 2023. Okay, required 4.1.1. Calculate depreciation on equipment and on vehicle for the year ended 28 February 2023. Okay, then uh, they said that provide one, one reason why company might decide to dispose of fixed assets for max, uh, two max. Then the first one is 14 max. Okay, we have to calculate a depreciation number one four point one point one number one we need to calculate depreciation of equipment okay let's break this down then they said that uh, information extracted from fixed assets balance number one we have vehicle and the accumulated depreciation of vehicle equipment and accumulated depreciation of equipment and they give us balance at the beginning and balance at the end okay information number one a new equipment cost price of 120,000 was bought on 1 May and our year is ending 28 February 2023. Okay, so now we have to split this calculation. Number one, we have to calculate depreciation of new equipment and we do a calculation of old equipment. Okay, now let's first check the method that we need to use to calculate a uh, depreciation for equipment. They said number last. Equipment is depreciated by 20% per annum on cost. Okay, which means that we are going to take our cost price of 120,000 and we multiply by 20%. Okay, then it's going to give us a amount. Okay, we have to count months. Remember, it was purchased on 1 May. If you count from 1 May, up to 28 February 2023 is going to give you 10 months. 10 over 12. We just say May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. 10. Okay. Then if you do this calculation, it's going to give you uh, 20,000. 20,000. This one is for new equipment. Now we have to check old one. Old one, where do we check them? Under our balances. Okay. If you check under our balances, we have uh, our accumulated depreciation of 440000 And what about the cost price? Cost price we only have at the end. How do we get uh, at the beginning? Very simple. We're just going to take a beginning of 600000 and we subtract one that has been bought during the year because it's already recorded. Okay, 120000 which is going to give you an uh, amount of, I think it's 480, yeah, 480,000. Okay, now we have 480,000 as our cost price and accumulated. Uh, remember, we're using a cost price, and our accumulated in this case uh, is 440. Now, you have to compare these two. 440. If you calculate another depreciation using by 480, you are going to say 480 uh, multiplied by 20%, which is going to give you 96,000. But is the, if this 96,000 of depreciation you add it with accumulated, is now going to exceed what? 480 of our cost price guys a value of item if it's 50 rand it can't be depreciate more than 50 rand it can lose value of more than 50 rand it's rather left with zero but the principle of accounting say that the current value must be left with at least one rand why because they the main purpose of business is to get something is to make a profit 
you can't sell something by zero rand. It's like a donation you are giving away. So the principal said we have to use one rand. At least we're gonna get one rand if the value has completely depreciated. So, which means that the rule of subtracting uh, of taking this 96,000 as depreciation is not going to apply. Why? Because now it's going to exceed our cost price because 440 of accumulated of last year and depreciation of this year is going to give you 500 and something. Okay? So, which means that in this case, uh, we have to use the method of one rand. Okay, how do we apply this method? It's very simple. We got 480 uh, our cost price, and we have our accumulators of 440,000. Okay, if you calculate this two, it's going to give you the current value of how much? Of 40,000. This current value at the beginning, what we need to do, we just subtract one rand. This one rand is current value. Is current value. And if you would subtract this two, it's going to give us the difference of depreciation, which means that depreciation is going to give us uh, 40,000 minus one rand is going to give you 39 rand, 990. This is a depreciation. Okay. It's a depreciation. It's depreciation. This is the current value at the end. This is the current value at the beginning. If you take current value at the end and beginning, you compare them. What happened during the year, we call it depreciation. It's a movement that happened during the year. So, now... We have done with this calculation. That's how you should apply this principle. Take this one, and this one is going to give you the total of 59,999 depreciation for the year. Okay? So that's how you need to apply uh, if you find a case like this. Okay. Moving to the next one. Uh, we have vehicle. We have to calculate for vehicle now. Okay, vehicle, uh, the first one, uh, we have a new vehicle that was bought. We're going to calculate a new and old. Okay, let's start by a new one. A new vehicle was bought on 1 September 2022 for amount of 315000 and they said vehicle use current value to depreciate. Because it's new, no carrying value needed. Mapla by 20%. We use 315 minus 0 because the precision is 0 so far. Okay? And we have to count a month from 1 September 2022 up to 28 February 2023. It's going to give you 5 over 12. Okay? Then in this case, uh, is gonna give you how much okay let me check the, the calculation is going to give you 31,500 all right now we have to go to the old one very simple guys so please guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed because this channel is the only channel that is going to assist you to learn every chapter without doubting uh, without dodging any chapter we are going to record all the chapters so that you guys you can enjoy accounting and get distinctions so please make sure that you subscribe because one the more subscribers are increasing like this now we are on uh, eight thousand something we are we're about to reach nine thousand subscribers which we are going to reach ten thousand before june so please subscribe the reason why we are keep recording is for those who has subscribed before okay now let's continue with our calculation under a vehicle so remember we have calculated a new one we have to calculate the old one and also we have sold the one that have been sold so in order to make it simple let's first calculate the sold one on 31 July 2022 a vehicle was sold by a 21,000 cash originally cost price was 164,000 
and uh, accumulated depreciation on one March 2022 was 56,000. So they didn't give us completed um, accumulated depreciation, which means that we must first calculate accumulated depreciation from one March up to uh, the day that they sold, which is 31 July, which is going to be how many months? March, April, May, June, July. It's going to be five months. Okay. Now, um, this is how we are going to calculate it. Okay. Here is not five months. It's six months. Okay. Now, uh, let's calculate uh, this one. Five months is for the one that has been sold. Apology about that. We're going to take our cost price of 164000 250 minus 56,250. Then after that, we're going to multiply with our 20%. And then we multiply by 5 over 12. Okay. Uh, which is going to give us 9,000. This is depreciation number one. This is number two. Now we are going to calculate the remaining, which is old one. Okay. Old one, guys, we must first subtract the one that we sold. Then we're going to left with the other remaining old one. Okay, this is how we are going to do it. The cost price was 444150 minus what we have been sold, 164, 250. Okay, and we have to subtract accumulated depreciation for both. Okay, 162, the old one, minus 56 of the one that has been sold. Uh, 56,250 if you take you get answer here you get answer here you take answer and subtract this answer uh, which is going to give you uh, okay you, you, then you multiply by 20% which is going to give you the final answer of 34,808 Okay, in order for you to get total for vehicle, you take this one plus this one and this one. Okay, it's gonna be 31,500 plus 34,880 plus 9,000 is equal to 75,330. Just like that. Okay, the next one provides one reason why company might decide to, de to sell or to dispose of the assets. Probable is because a is outdated this time around we are using mostly laptop we are no longer using those old computers which means that we can sell our computer in order for us to buy a new one okay or the other reason we are looking for better technology better model and so on and so on any valid reason is acceptable okay so that's how we should uh, do our calculation under fixed assets guys Okay, the last part that we also need to do, okay, a management of fixed assets. So, pay deliver a service on the delivery vehicle, okay. Uh, I can't see, guys, there's a light of a sun, okay. So, pay delivery service on three delivery vehicle, okay. Then, Philip. Uh, the owner is concerned about the control of the vehicle. He obtained some information from the supervisor and requested you for assistance. Identify one different problem with regard each vehicle and quote figures provided one point of advice for each identified problem. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the solution for this one. Uh, we've been given vehicle 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so under Vehicle 1, they identify that, uh, as you can see, only 360 kilometers has been covered uh, with only 24 trip. And the, the owner, uh, the, the driver is getting paid 11,000, uh, which is very high for this little job. Okay, what advice can we give? Assign more trips to this vehicle or you can swap uh, this driver to uh, vehicle number 3. Okay, vehicle 2 highest paid uh, driver is in, in uh, vehicle 2 is in, in 13,000, which is very high for this uh, 780 kilometers compared to vehicle number 3. Okay, advice 
we have to provide a driver with workload because he's getting paid a lot. Then vehicle number three is very old. As you can see, the value is only one rand. It's very old and it's fully depreciated. We need to replace this vehicle. So I hope you learn something, guys, and you enjoy. Please, those who want to join our extra class, make sure that you contact us on WhatsApp so that we can start with you right away and learn with other students because other students are keep learning every Sunday and I'm giving them uh, some work to cover so that uh, we're going to do correction together and gain more principle that um, went wrong when you are attempting your class activity. But anyway, I'm going to see you on the next one and check other videos so that you can keep learning and learning and learning. See you.